For the last 50 years, the agricultural innovation system in Australia has consisted of government agencies like the CSIRO carrying out agricultural research and government agencies including state departments of agriculture being the primary extension agencies. So they've been the ones that have taken the information from the researchers, uh, some of which are within the state departments as well, and transferred it to producers and encouraged them to adopt and take on innovations. Over the last decade or so, that's all changed. We've seen um, an increasing reliance on the funding from the Rural Research and Development Corporations. Uh, we've seen a decreasing presence of state government agricultural agencies in each of the states. And we've seen an increase in the importance of private sector extension or advisors. So, um, crop agronomists and crop advisors, um, less so in the livestock industry. So exactly what these changes mean and what the agricultural innovation system in Australia should look like in the future is a big question mark. Um, the conference that we're holding aims to tease out these issues and try and come up with a shared vision of what the future should look like for the agricultural innovation system in Australia, what role uh, bodies like the CSIRO should play, what role is there for the universities and how is their role integrated into the system, what role can we expect the State Departments of Agriculture to play into the future, what's the role of the private sector companies, so the major ag and biotech companies, what role do they play and how does that information actually get uh, to producers. Um, that's the real issue we need to sort out because if we are aiming to lift productivity um, that's going to have to work well and that's the real issue that hasn't been sorted out as yet.